Hey, how goes it? Welcome back. We're gonna play some more Rogue Legacy. And let's see what our options are. We get a paladin named Sir Taco. He's nearsighted, no thank you. Uh, Sir Kenny is an archmage. Uh, no. But this seems like a horrible idea. All of them seem pretty not so good. I still haven't played a dwarf in a long time, which makes me sad. Um, I don't like colorblind, but fuck it, let's do this. Alright, so we have a good chunk... Oh, colorblind. Good chunk of uh, money here. So this will give us a little more, but it'll make us way more. So we need to upgrade our maximum weight. All right, let's have a look at this over here. Colorblind actually does make this a fair bit more difficult. Um, what are the options? Sprint, power, short, double jump. All right, let's increase our equip load real quick. Yeah, that's gonna be expensive. Whatever, we need to do it. 10, 20, 30, there we go. Um, yeah. Not gonna be able to buy everything that I want, I don't think. No, no, actually it'll be very close. Um, alright, we're gonna get that. That is a lot... Yeah, that's a lot more, uh, armor, so hopefully that'll be nice. Actually, what, did this give us any additional things? No additional things? I should have checked that first, obviously, but... Okay, so that's pretty good. Let's buy something for one of these, just so we have more options. Um, I kind of want another double jump. I, I, I'm, I want to play around with that. That sounds like a good idea to me. Um, later we're going to grab a sprint and a vault or something like that. You know, more stuff like that. But now we have lots of double jumping, which I use a lot of double jumping, so... I could jump for days. Nope. So yeah, problems with double- or with colorblind is I don't have, have any idea what kind of mages those are. Um... Now let's go this way. I want to kill them. Let's do this. Everyone fucking freeze so I can thin these out. Oh, goddamn skeleton. My health is already incredibly low. That skeleton down there is more dangerous than the knight, I think. Oh, and there's a zombie as well. Awesome. But yeah, colorblind definitely makes things more difficult. Like, for example, um, I'm less likely to notice some traps. Um, I can't tell what certain enemies are. That's another bad one. Um, I don't know. It just it makes a big difference in general. Makes it a bit more difficult. Uh, nothing I'm too interested in. And also does make it a little more difficult to see generally anything as far as details go. See, take no damage. Yeah, I should have got the fucking sprint. There's no way I can do that with a double jump. Also, I can't appreciate the water in this room, how it's supposed to be like a bridge. Alright, that's an option. Journal entry. Let's try this. Journal entry number 9. The door to the throne room is driving me mad. Beyond it lies the king's salvation. 
uh, and my reward, but it stands silent in the middle of the castle foyer, or foy foy foyer if you want to do that, uh, taunting me. I tried pushing it, kicking it, yelling open sesame, but nothing works. There are icons, emblema, em, eh, emblema, is it that? I don't know. Under the door, there's emblems on the door. Um, and it looks like a beast, um, like a beast I avoided early, uh, uh, yeah, a beast I avoided deeper in the castle. Perhaps there's some sort of correlation. Take no damage. This will be interesting. Oh, this might or may not work. Oh, it does. I don't have a ton of mana. Oh god, no, go down! Damn it. That had potential. I should have come back when I had more mana. Also, I've noticed that those blood drips are a lot harder to see when you're colorblind. The ones that the eyes have. No, turn around. Yeah, those blood drips. Really difficult to see. Let's just generally not fuck with that guy. Alright. Alright, I've seen similar rooms to this. This is not a big deal. I might even be able to triple jump up there. Oh yeah, easily. Alright, let me think here. Nope, that works. I will take all of it. I will also take all of this, because why not? Uh, this is a random teleporter. Let's not go there just yet, because it's so close to that boss room. If we did want to kill ourselves, that would be a good option. Also, there is treasure in this room. Hmm. Yeah, this is definitely more difficult colorblind. Alright, so more treasure in back. That was close, that thing almost went off. Break everything in search of stuff. Well, this would have been a perfect place to put a zombie too, but maybe that would have been too much. I would have done it. I don't see anything in here, but I might as well kill everything anyways. And that triple jump is kind of nice. Wait. Cool. I had no idea that was going to be in there. Siphon for sword could be handy. I don't think we have anything on sword currently, or is that where we put our double jump? I have no idea how I saw that also. Also dog barking. Okay, that shoots, that shoots. There's quite a while between each of these, so just take your time. Nice. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Well, I think we've killed enough for the moment. Let's just uh, go grab this chest. God damn it. Do nothing else in here? I'll take this stuff, that's fine. Uh, 
I expected a zombie or something there. Alright, let's clear out the rest of this room real quick. I think the colorblind trait slightly hurts my eyes, trying to strain to find details. Also, I didn't even notice the bookshelf there because it wasn't as obvious because of the uh, colorblindness. Yeah, that triple jump does things for me. Uh, further up or further out? Well, we're already here. freaking out, people are freaking out. It's not so good. Oh, okay. Jumping like a motherfucker. I want to just stand here for a second, let my eyes calm the fuck down. Alright, went through there, got all the loots. Uh, I will go back up via this way and go through that top floor. I nearly didn't see that spike ball. I think there's an eye over here I can kill. Yep, even though there's no door, might as well. Could have been loots. Just reminding myself what my other spells are. Oh, wonderful. Alright, what are our other options? No, wait, we've explored... Oh, no, wait, we didn't explore down there. Hmm. Alright, boss room is pretty quick. Okay, bottom of this room, wonderful. Okay, it's not that bad. And over here... I hate these rooms. Damn it. Okay, let's leave. If I were a dwarf, I could just run through the ceiling and be fine, but no. I had to be tall. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Damn. I feel like there should be more in this room, to be honest. Yeah, it's just a hallway, though. We'll move on. Yeah, fuck you. Not 
the best place to be. Alright, not that bad. Okay, there is nothing up here. There's a dwarf door here, maybe? I really need dwarfism on one of these runs. Take it. Don't need that. Don't want to go into the forest yet. Oh, shit. Well. That was a waste. Huh. Alright. Into the forest for inevitable death. There's treasure at the bottom. Of course. Damn it. Down, down. Alright, not getting out of this alive. Unless... Ooh, it's close. Ran out of mana real quick there. I knew I saw that fucker. Okay, I can stand on top of these. Ah, fuck, I saw that coming. Hey, I can see in color again. Alright, holy shit. Well, we killed a fair amount of things, that's for sure. Uh, we're gonna call that an episode. When I come back, we'll buy some stuff, and I don't know. Haven't figured that out yet. Not really thinking ahead. Maybe in the next episode, we'll actually make some plans. That sounds like an idea. All right, next time. <laughs>